What happens here, the atmosphere, the energy that happens here in its island is completely different than the entire rest of the world. attraction for, uh, that I had with electronic music was when I was 15 years old, 14 years old, because my brother was working in the Studio 54 in Barcelona. And I remember he came to, when he was finished to, to work, we was having uh, the bed close to each other. You know? <laughs> so he came and he was always waking me up just when I arrived home. And he was like, listen, listen this is a day for the night. You can feel when this this music this track is changing for this one for this one. So I got very addicted to find the way how to mix. So for me this this was the best part of DJ, like the part of the creativity. And I was very influenced by that and, and this catch me so 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 much. My relation with Ibiza, it was like hate and love. My first years in Ibiza was very hard for me. I was resident in Amnesia and it was uh, really, really, really hard because I was working uh, every day from 11 p.m. until that time was the closing was where people was living. It was no time to rest. And the day after I had to be again at 11 there. And for four years, I didn't enjoy it. I just was a slave of my job. And I remember when I finished my, my residency in Anesia, I was like, I'm done with Ibiza, I don't want to come back. I was uh, having already a, a residency in Barcelona, and I was like, no, I don't want to come back. But this island has something special. It's like, a, if you hate, you have to give it back. You have to come back. And then when I start to come back, like two or three years after that, I felt very, very connected. I felt that, that what happens here, the atmosphere, the energy that happens here in its island is completely different than the entire rest of the world. And so this, I think, is the energy of the island. It's about something that my father told me before he died. And this is something else I have here too. Live a tope. That means a tope is a very Spanish word that not many people <laughs> understand. But it means like a full on, no? So I remember my father was uh, in the hospital before he died. He told me, don't be like me. Don't be all your life working and being a slave for your work and don't enjoy the life. Because look at me. Now I retire, and two years after I retire, I got this sick and I'm going to die. So enjoy your life because you never know when it's going to happen tomorrow. So that was, uh, was very influential for me. And it's the fucking truth. Because if you realize, we can have success, we can have money, we can have girls, cars, houses, whatever, can come and back. Time is the only thing that once left, never come back. So it's, all time is now and here. Any track. I don't have particular tracks. Music is so big that it will be not fair to just choose one track. I mean, every track, they have a, a good groove, good bass line. It's a good track for playing with. As I said before, the energy, but the energy is not only in the night. It's also, also when you walk in the street, when you walk to the sea. Uh, I love to spend the days with my son in the beach. Uh, he loves to catch uh, crabs and fishes. Uh, so Ibiza obviously is, is for me also work because I come in t every Tuesday to play, but it's like a holiday place. It's where I can have fun, I can have the right balance between night, work, family and relax. This is the best concept of now here. So choose a new talent. We in general are very egoist because we, when we have some artists that sell tickets, or we just focus on this, we don't give the space to other artists, or the new generation. I felt this in my own <laughs> when I was younger. So I don't want to have the same frustration that I had when I was young, because everybody, all the promoters was booking the same artists, the same artists, 
and not giving space to, to the new talents. So for me, it's the different, the opposite. I want to give the opportunity to the new talents. I have a really, really good artist like Melanie Reeve, like uh, Black Child, Iglesias, people who have an extremely, extremely good taste in music and they are passionate by the job of the DJ, not the figure of the DJ. There is a big difference. We give a value to the art of mix, to the art of the DA, not the art of the performance. I have two different uh, type of DJs in my mind. There is the DJ who is creating an atmosphere and create a story with the music and the way they play the music. And then there's other DJs that is also acceptable because the people like that. That his power is the show or the visuals or whatever. I'm old school. I born with and I grew up with these values, and I want to keep these values for the next generation. This is for me the most important thing. Like give something for the next generation that they can keep in mind and respect this incredible job. I keep pushing uh, this thinking in innovation. Uh, I think it's part of the life to constantly grow and create new things. I am a person that is, I get boring very, very easy when I do the same thing, the same thing. And, and music gives to us this, this opportunity to create unique things, unique moments. So for me, the way to push it's just being more and more and more creative all the time.